What's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today this is going to be a quick one, but I wanted to take a look at the new Retro Flag Super Pi cases for the Raspberry Pi 2, 3, and 3B+. Unfortunately, these are not compatible with the Raspberry Pi 4 yet, but I do have confirmation they're working on some really awesome stuff that should be out in the next month or two. So the main difference between these Super Pi cases and the older version is the inclusion of a cartridge. Now a lot of people were complaining about this and they finally added one. I'm not 100% sure if you can just buy the cart for your old Super Pi case, but these are available on Amazon right now for $19.99 and I think it's a really good deal for some of the best retro inspired console cases for the Raspberry Pi. So like I mentioned, unfortunately these are not compatible with the Raspberry Pi 4. They will only work with the Raspberry Pi 2, the Raspberry Pi 3, and the Raspberry Pi 3B+. I do have confirmation from the source that they're working on some really awesome stuff for the Raspberry Pi 4, and I'll be sure to announce it and show it off as soon as I'm allowed to. So in this video we're going to do an unboxing, I'm going to do a quick assembly, and then I want to show off this cart because I think it's really awesome. It's a great little addition to these Super Pi cases. I've always loved Retro Flag cases ever since the Nest Pi case was released a couple years ago. Hands down, Retro Flag does make the best console inspired cases for the Raspberry Pi 4, and there's more coming up soon. So inside of the box you're obviously going to receive the Super Pi case, all of your screws, screwdriver, and the new cart. If you purchase one of these and you don't immediately see it in the box, just check the console itself. Mine was located inside of the SNES. These carts attach to the top of these cases using a magnet and it's really easy to install. They sit on there really nice and flush. And they also include cart art, but you could design your own if you really wanted to. I have seen a few people on Facebook making them and possibly selling them. If I can get a hold of them before I finish this video up, I will leave links in the description. But if you have a color printer at home, these should be really easy to measure out and print them on sticker paper. Just like the old Super Pi cases, we also get our screwdriver, we have all the screws, instructions, and rubber feet for the cases. The Super Pi cases do include a safe reset and shutdown button, but you will have to install the custom script from RetroFlag. I have done a full tutorial, I'll leave a link to that video in the description. You can also find the instructions over on RetroFlag's website. Assembly is really easy, they offer full instructions that come with the case, but I'm going to go ahead and throw it together real quick. First thing we need to do is grab our Raspberry Pi 3, I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3B+. We're going to plug in the power harness to the GPIOs, and then we're going to plug in our two USB 2.0 ports. The Pi will now sit inside of the case, and there's three screws that you'll need to hold the Pi down inside, and one of the screws does come up through the bottom, so when it's all said and done, you do have four screws securing the Pi inside of the case. You will have to rearrange the wires a little bit to make sure the top half of the case does sit flush. So while I'm throwing these screws in, I figured it's a good time to tell you about the giveaway I got going on with this video. I have four of these cases to give away, and the only thing you need to do to enter this giveaway is let me know in the comments below what's the next retro flag case you want to see for the Raspberry Pi. Personally, I'd like to see a TurboGrafx-16 or a PC Engine version, but I know a lot of people probably want to see Dreamcast or Sega Saturn. Now leaving your comment down below does have a purpose because I'm going to be tallying all of this up and I'm going to send it over to Retro Flag. They asked me to kind of get an idea of what the next case they should create for the Raspberry Pi 4 is, and I thought this would be a good way to do it. Retro Flag was kind enough to provide me with two US versions and two European versions. Now all four of these will have the cart included with the case, and they also sent over matching Retro Flag USB controllers. So I'll have four cases, each come with a single controller, so we'll have four winners here, and the only thing you need to do is let me know what case you want to see Retro Flag create next for the Raspberry Pi 4. So now I have the Raspberry Pi 3 all wired up and secured inside of the case. It's time to put the top shell on. We're just going to use these four screws here. And there we have it. We have our two USB ports on the front. On the back we have our HDMI 3.5mm audio jack and power in. There is a side panel over here to access two extra USBs on the Raspberry Pi and Ethernet. Plus we have full access to the SD card on the other side. Now it's time to move on to the newest feature of these cases, the cart. I'm going to be using one of the included cart art stickers that came with this case. There are two to choose from, but you could always print your own. And you can actually remove them pretty easily if you decide sometime down the road that you want to do custom art on it, but you don't have it in hand. So like I mentioned, the cart is held to the case using a magnet, and you will need to use their double-sided sticky tape to secure one magnet inside of the cart slot itself. 
So as you can see, I have the included magnet secured underneath the cartridge flap. I got it sitting right in the middle and you can still eject it. And even when the cart is attached to the top using the magnet, it's very secure. We could still open and close the cart slot if you want to, but the cart itself can store your SD cards. Here's a quick look at the European version. I just went ahead and assembled this one. Now this isn't one that's going to be going out. I do have four extras for the giveaway. And I also did the US version just to give you a look. Both carts are representative of the region. Plus the car art will be a different size. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. I really appreciate you watching. I just wanted to give you a quick look at the new Super Pi case with the included cart. I really do wish that these were compatible with the Raspberry Pi 4, but they kind of dropped the Raspberry Pi 4 on us while they were already making this. So they figured they'd go ahead and release it. Remember, I do have four of these to give away, two US and two European versions, plus matching controllers for each. It'll be a single controller for each console. And the only thing you gotta do to enter is let me know in the comments below what the next retro flag case is you wanna see for the Raspberry Pi 4. Seven days from this video going up, I will be picking four random comments and I will contact you, so make sure it's really me contacting you. I'll get your information and I'll ship them right out. It'd also be really cool if you could hit that like button or maybe subscribe to the channel. And if you're itching to get a hold of one of these before the giveaway's up, I will leave links to Amazon in the description. They're 20 bucks without a controller, but they do come with the car. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.